The best-selling novel, The Help, looks at relationships between white women and their black maids in the early 1960s in Mississippi. Author Catherine Stockett, who's white, sparked controversy by writing the novel from the perspective of one of the maids. As CBS News correspondent Bill Whitaker reports, she also chose her best friend, a relative unknown, to direct the movie version, which opens in theaters today. These women raise white children. We love them and they love us, but they can't even use the toilets in our houses. Minnie, are you in there? You are fired! Catherine Stockett's explosive novel, The Help, is set in Mississippi against the backdrop of the civil rights movement in the 1960s, a time of segregation and sit-ins. What Mr. Johnny gonna do when he come home and find a colored woman in his house? It's the story of a rebellious Southern belle who collaborates with black right. maids to write a book do pulling the covers off the complex, often painful relationships between a pampered, privileged class of white women and the black women who serve them. The Help has spent more than 100 weeks on the bestseller list and now is a film with A-list actors, including Emma Stone and Viola Davis. I'd like to do a book of interviews about working for white families. You often hear it wasn't that bad or, a lot. Or we treated our maid like family. That's my favorite. Catherine Stockett and the film's director, Tate Taylor, are lifelong friends who grew up in Jackson, Mississippi, raised by black housekeepers. The Help is her first book and his first major motion picture. You said you guys have known each other since, what, five? Five. <laughs> What's the bond? What drew you together? Uh, I say we were two oddballs that yeah. kind of orbited around Jackson. <laughs> we saw it in Great each other's mischief. eyes. That's right. Mischief makers. Oh, yes. Oh. So. She reluctantly showed her friend her manuscript after 60 literary agents had rejected it. You think you know your best friend so well, and I could not believe that this was in her. Let's walk in with the coast. He begged her for the screen rights. And everyone in my world was saying no. Hell no. Hell no. You can't give it to Tate Taylor. He has, he has no credentials. He has nothing. He looks bad on paper. His credentials amounted to a little independent film called Pretty Ugly People, which grossed just $6,500 at the box office. But at the same time, I knew if anyone, you know, would understand this story, it would be Tate. It's a story that ignites great passion. Millions love it, but many loathe that a white woman dared to tell a story through the eyes of black maids, Abilene and Minnie, in black dialect. She looked like the winning horse at the Kentucky Derby. I know you've heard. How dare she? A white I felt woman that. I was saying those exact words to myself as I was writing it. When I grew up, you, we did not talk about race. You I'm still not entirely comfortable with what I've written. And, and I know I didn't get it all right, but it's so important for, for people to explore what it must feel like to be in someone else's shoes. Forgive me, Lord, but I'm gonna have to kill that woman, Abilene. Viola Davis, Abilene in the movie, and Octavia Spencer, who plays Minnie, haven't escaped the criticism, but they say they believe in the book and are proud of the movie. Davis says she was giving voice to her mother, who was a maid. It's great to pay homage to them in a film so they could come to the forefront. People can recognize and, and shine a light on their lives. What we should do is get beyond uh, seeing things in terms of color and uh, focus on the things that makes us similar. The book's been on the bestseller list forever, but the movie sort of knocks that up a notch. I'm so proud to say that was not my problem. <laughs> I'm, it is such a joy to hand that over to Tate and Octavia and Viola and just say, y'all do what you want to do. Have you lost your mind? No, ma'am, but you about to. Bill Whitaker, CBS News, Hollywood.